We were in a predicament in which we could not get ourselves out of. We couldn't turn anywhere. We just had to deal with it and get on with it. And thankfully, we found seven euro and we got on with it. But you and I both know, right, that there are people everywhere who are in predicaments in which they can't get out of, and they've just got to get on with it, right? People in relationships that they feel like they're in a certain predicament within that relationship and they can't necessarily get out of it. People with their drug and alcohol use, they're in a predicament in which they can't get themselves out of. People in their marriages in, in which they're in a predicament and specifically within their marriage in which they can't get out of. People in their work, they're in a predicament in which they can't get themselves out of. People with their overtime, some people love their overtime way too much and they find themselves in a predicament where they, they expect that the other people just expect it of them. And so here we find Paul in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 and he says, as a prisoner, he's in a predicament in which he can't get himself, himself out of. As a prisoner for the Lord then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Paul is in a predicament in which he can't get himself out of. And you know, as Jesus followers, when we're in predicaments that we can't get ourselves out of, we're not prisoners to situations. We're not prisoners to situations. You might feel like a prisoner, but you're not a prisoner to a situation. You're not a prisoner to a people group. You're not a prisoner to a certain thing. You are not a prisoner. Here's the thing. Paul was a prisoner, but his location did not determine his freedom. See, Jesus doesn't imprison us. He sets us free. So with all of those things, when, when you feel like a slave or you feel like a prisoner, Jesus doesn't imprison us. He doesn't make us a slave. He sets us free. Paul was a prisoner, yet he was free. He was fulfilling the calling that God had placed upon his life. 